Well, you know, I opened up the page and I looked at it and I kind of welled up. It, you know, brought back a lot of great memories. Um, or scrolling down the page and um, seeing the inserts of the, the history of the arc um, and seeing Miles and some of the other guys and gals doing this writing. Um, just brought up a lot of great memories, you know, all that time that we spent, you know, just seeing the color scheme and the, they, did, they did a really great job on it. I mean, it's a really beautiful bike. Well, that actually, I don't remember what year it was. That happened early on. Um, we were still in Santa Barbara at the time, and I believe John was still in Southern California. You know, he approached us for sponsoring with, because, you know, headsets are really popular. This is back in the inch and a quarter headset days. Our first color after colors came in, right? In the mountain bike world, the first color to be popular was purple, BD Violet, right? And every, once everybody got, like, completely sick of that, turquoise was the next color. And so that was the first color that we did after purple and that was their team color. So it all, it all just kind of went together along with Grafton cranks and things like that. And everybody was doing the turquoise color. I guess the guy I spent the most time with was Grady. He was one of the Yeti mechanics. At the races, there was a lot of hangout time. So it was fun to be able to hang out with those guys and you know work on their little tech problems and all that kind of stuff. So. I remember taking that bike after, I think it was after the races were over or something, we went, of course we stayed and did some riding, right? So we went up and did the kamikaze. I did the kamikaze on that bike, which was, <laughs> I mean, that's a fast, that's a fast fall line run. Man. That was, that was pretty fun. Looking at the, the photo on the splash page and seeing its, its stature, you know, the, the, the race, the original race colorway and so on. Um, you know, for a, a 35th anniversary edition, I think it's, it's such a great, it, it makes me feel so good about that bike. You know, having had that bike when it was first out, um, and then now seeing, you know, a, a, a reverence to that whole era that was really kind of the heyday of, of mountain biking as it, as it really gained popularity. And so to see it that way was like, yeah, that's, Part of what made me well up is, you know, seeing it reminded me of those days that we used to have all those good times. <laughs>